Okay, so part C, right, we are asked to work out the distance travelled um, between 0 and 480 seconds, and it comes then to this other idea that we need to remember with velocity time graphs, that the distance covered, okay, or the distance travelled, is simply the area, the area under the graph. So we need to work out this area here, okay, all of that area there. Once you've worked up the, the area, you've then got your distance covered in metres. All right. Now, when you look at this shape here, you need to be careful how you determine the area. If you look at the shape as a whole and ignore those broken lines, you've actually got a five-sided shape. Because if you think about it, I've got one side there, two sides there, three sides. That would be four there. And you've got this little one here, five sides. Now, there isn't a formula for working out sort of like a five-sided shape. So what we need to do is use what they've given us, actually. We need to split it up into three sections. So we call this, say, section... A, right, and this section B, and this section C, right, or you can call them section 1, 2, and 3. Now, if you look at section B, it's really easy to work out, isn't it? Okay, because um, it's just a rectangle, and section C as well, you notice it's a triangle. Section A is actually the most challenging, um, but it's a trapezium, right, and look out for them. You're going to see um, trapeziums appear, okay, and of course the formula for trapezium is that, right? Okay, so you half a plus b times h you need to remember that and the a and b are the two sides that are parallel now um you can see that these vertical sides here are the ones that are parallel yeah perhaps if i turned it round you'd see a bit better the trapezium that way and you've got these two sides here that are, that are parallel but you can also have the trapezium disorientation um so checking the values in that's your a there which would be 5. Your B then is that total side there, which is 20. And then you've got to times it. So my calculator, I'm going to put times here, and the H. The H is the distance between the two parallel sides. So that's 30. Okay? So I use my calculator. Um, so 1 half bracket 5 plus 20. Don't forget to put times there next to it then, 30. And we get uh, 375 meters okay right the area gives us the distance traveled so that, that's the hard bit b then area b is just a rectangle length there okay which is um if you think about it from 30 to 430 is 400 times then the the width okay here which is 20 okay so that would be 8,000 meters and then area c um, triangle, so triangle formula, don't forget, is half base height. Okay, so the base in this case we could take here, we know that's right angled. So base could be, what's that there, is that 50? So half times 50, and of course we know that our height there to be 20. Okay, so if you work that out, you get 500 meters. All you've got to do then to get the distance travelled is add them up. So total distance. equals 375 plus 8,000 plus 500, which would be 8875 meters. Don't forget to put meters in at the end. We've got our answer.